welcome to fourth video of calculus using MATLAB. My name is Milan Shah, and today I'm gonna teach you is left and the right hand sided limits. So now, what is left and right hand sided limits, and why we are using this type of limits? Now, now suppose we have a function like f is equal to x minus three divided by mode means absolute value of x minus 3 ok so now we know that when we substitute x is equal to 1 then the answer is minus 2 here and the absolute value is 2 means minus 2 by 2 is equal to minus 1 now place 2 here then we will get the answer minus 1 now place th 3 here then we will get the answer 0 by 0 ok now place 4 instead of x then we will get the answer 1 by 1 means 1 so this is not the right thing when we make limits of x greater than 3 or 3 so the limit is exist or not how we can find it so what we are doing in the theory portion of calculus we will find the limits to left hand side and right hand side and if these limits are not equal then the limit doesn't exist and if these are equals then the limit exist so now how to find these things so to do this place limit then the function f then comma the value means variable symbolic variable x and the value 3 for left hand side type left here ok so this is there which is function this is the x which is the limit of x and this is 3 means 3 the value of the limit and press enter so we will get the answer minus 1 ok now for right hand side type right here see here the answer is 1 so the answer of the left hand side is not equal to the answer of right hand side that means limit doesn't exist you can find using your own functions so you can get the answer immediately and the correct answer now suppose I want to plot this thing so what I will do ez plot then f then I will place values from minus 1 to 5 so 3 is in between these values so I will get the answer Place enter see here minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 we are getting the answer minus 1 but when the value is greater than 3 then the answer is 1 you see here 4 and 5 so this is the thing which we are doing in theory portion of calculus and this is the way to do these things in MATLAB so that's it for now do like share subscribe comment below and thanks for watching